We chance together for Jesus. If you love Jesus, clap your hands. The hour has come for the Lord to glorify himself. The hour has come. Jesus is here with us. The Lord is going to bless all of us. Jesus is here. Father, we worship you. We welcome your spirit here, O oh Lord. Jesus, come and take control. Begin to welcome the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords in our midst. Begin to tell the Lord to come down. Come and take control. Holy Spirit, come and take control. Abba, Father, we worship you. We bless you, Lord. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Jesus, we worship you. We bless you, Lord. We thank you for today. There is no one like you, Lord Jesus. We thank you. We bless you. Oh, God, we worship you, Lord. Let's sing the song that the choir just sang. And then we pray and take our seat. Hallelujah. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha. the praise without you Lord Jesus we are nothing we thank you for this hour another session for your children to know your way the truth and the light father we thank you we invite you in our midst come and take control cover this place with the blood of Jesus we pray the Lord you will speak to us this evening we come against all the plans of the devil every distraction of the devil we come against it in the mighty name of Jesus we pray the Lord you will be in our midst. You will bless us. Many will give their life to Christ today. And many will be restored in the name of Jesus. We thank you for what you are going to do. 
be thou glorified forever in jesus name i pray please take your seat I welcome you all in the name of Jesus. I'm happy to be in the midst of the youth again. This is going to be a wonderful day for us today. I want all the movement. Please, youth, sit down. Please sit down. Don't be distracted. Don't allow the devil to cheat you on this hour now. There are many things you are going to learn from. Because many of you are zealous in the house of God, but your name is not in the book of life. Many of you are busy calling yourself Christian, but no heaven for you. Many of you are busy serving pastors, serving the church, but no heaven for you. Many of you are busy using your talent your energy, your money, supporting the house of God, but no heaven for you. Many of you are busy evangelizing in the internet, doing all kinds of things, believing that Jesus recognizes you, but you are not going to heaven. So please sit down and listen to what I'm going to say and even what I'm going to show you. Hallelujah. I'm going to sing a song, and that song is going to minister to your soul. And listen to you very well. Hallelujah. Be quiet as you listen to the song before I start the preaching. The topic here today is youth don't go to hell. I will tell you what is happening in hell by the grace of God. What I saw I will tell you and what I passed through in hell. And I will give you some instances, example of evil lifestyle that if you are living in this lifestyle and you say it doesn't matter i want to tell you that you are grateful you should be thanking god that you are alive because if you are in this kind of lifestyle this kind of behavior and these people some of the people i'm going to show you are your mentor you are listening to them you are copying their start lifestyle i pity you because the only person you should look after you should look at and copy his lifestyle is jesus and the holy child of God. So please be quiet as we sing this song to bless your life. Amen. Hell 
times Oh you Hell and heaven are real Hell is real Heaven is real Make your choice Oh you Hell and heaven are real You are a smoker You'll be one But you don't want to repent You are a cultist You'll be one But you don't want to repent Hell is real Heaven real for those of you that don't know I want to tell you that hell is real hell is real as you are sitting now underneath your feet there is something going on here terribly on the bottomless pit under your feet there are your friends that have died in sin in cultism in stubbornness your boyfriend have died your girlfriend have died before knowing this truth your mother have died your sister have died in sin now that you have known the truth, you are thinking, ha, ah, so they miss heaven. I want to tell you, they are under your feet now, turning upside down with fire. 
they are crying. They are crying. And the Lord sent me to you. The Lord sent me to you. The topic is youth, don't go to hell. Holiness of our movement is begging you, don't go to hell. It is cast in the churches for you to hear. They are telling you, don't go to hell. We are not here for your money. Neither we are here looking for crowd. We just want to tell you, don't go to hell. We want to prepare you for heaven. This is the purpose of this ministry. That is why God raised this ministry up. To enlighten people. To save people from hellfire. Because the world is full of darkness. All over the world, not only Nigeria. You are very lucky to be alive, youth. You have done many terrible things in your life. I want to tell you, if you should have died now, you will regret why you were born. In sin, smoking, drugs addict. I was hearing the testimony of them today. Thank God they are testifying. And you, some of you, are the youth in different churches. Some of you are the choir in different churches. But you know how you look pornographic movies up and down every day. You know you have girlfriend in the choir in the church. You know how you are living your life. But because the pastor has never preached about it, he saw that it, did not, it doesn't matter. You are busy doing your life. But I want to tell you today, the person that is preaching to you, my name is Mrs. Linda Porica. But many people know me as Sister Linda. I'm still alive. I had some of you today from choosing say that, ah, I'm surprised to see Sister Linda. I will not die. Don't bother. Because I serve a living God. Hallelujah. Until we finish our work. And then the Lord says it's over. By rapture or by death. But for now, we are doing our work to save your soul. So the Lord sent me to you since 2013. Many of you have listened to the testimony. Some of you that have listened to the testimony, you are still playing with it. You are doubting. You are saying it's a lie. I don't believe it is a lie. Ah, it's not true. No, nothing like that. I want to tell you, you are doing yourself. I pity you. Young girl, I pity you. Young boy, I pity you. The world is sweet. Sin is sweet. Fornication is sweet. Boyfriend and girlfriend. But the end of it, it's painful. Hellfire is a place you cannot imagine. You cannot think of. You will not even expect that some place like that, that God is wicked like this. Can God prepare a place like this? What am I doing here? Is it true I'm going to stay here? That the time you'll be preaching to yourself, you will understand eternity better when you're in hell. You will reject it. You will say, no, me forever in this place. No, God have mercy on me. Because of what sinners go there and see with their eyes when they die, they regretted their life. I have known God to be so great and wonderful, full of mercy and love. And by his grace, he showed me all these great things in heaven and hell. I've experienced what, is, what it takes to be dead and what it means to live in the spiritual body in hell. I was not sick. For you to say she was sick, I was not sick. I was healthy. Nothing was wrong with me. I was strong, I was healthy. On that fateful day, on the 15th of February, 2013, I was okay. Nothing was wrong with me. I was okay. But God took my spirit and I died. He graciously brought me back after he allowed me to see, felt, hell. It's great pain. The pain of hell. What the Lord did in my life, 2013. Up to now, I'm still passing through the wonders. Sometimes I see that and say, God, you are really God. Some people don't know you. Me, I've seen part of his blessing. I've felt some of his blessing. I've seen him, and I know what it means to be, to worship God. When God took me to hell, the way my body figured, this figure, how the devil handled my body, everything but me was changed. I was born like a plastic bag. I was disfigured, beaten by demons. I don't know how the Lord sent me back to look like this. 
It's a merciful God. It's a powerful God. Some of you, you only say, we serve a miracle God. We serve a powerful God. You have not seen the power yet. You have not known the miracle. When you die and go to hell, if you play with your Christian life, that is the time you will know that this God is powerful. Because you will be wondering yourself, how can somebody be in the fire that is higher than this house? And the person is burning, burning for one month, burning for two months, for years, countless years. The person has not drank water, neither eats food. The person has been beaten, but the person is still asking for mercy. You will say, which kind of miracle is this? Why God? Why are they living with this kind of punishment? Somebody have born to the place that to the point that you cannot recognize who or he is. Is he a woman? Is he a man? You don't know. But the voice will tell you this is a human being. Ask him for mercy. Jesus, show me mercy. You will be confused. How can somebody born like this? The eye has been removed. All over the body is burnt. The body is dropping like plastic bag, like leather burned on the fire. And you yourself will say, what is this person asking for mercy for? How can he survive on earth? Everywhere of his body has been burnt, but he still wants to come out. Because the fire is not a normal fire, I can say. Nobody can get used to the fire. We have used to food, eating, drinking, sleep on under on under light, fan, AC. Even if when you are sick, you are in the hospital, there is light there, there is food, you can drink water, no matter what. Even in the prison, they give you food, no matter how the place is tight, you can sleep, you wake up, even in prison. But in hellfire, there is nothing like that. No water. As you die like this, if you fall down and die in sin, you will never drink water again. You will never eat food again. You will never see any light again. You will never feel any AC or fresh air again. You will never see comfort again. Just sign yourself for sorrow. Tears, pain. You will be crying endlessly. No turning back. You will be crying. You will regret your life. I am talking to you youths. I am talking to you youths. All over the world, the youths are the same spirit possessing them. We just came from Jamaica. Terrible things we saw there. The youths, nakedness. I told them, I said, what I'm seeing since I entered Jamaica, I was in the one church, I was telling them, I don't think they are going to heaven. To tell you how the devil has worked. There are many people on the devil's side. Even in Nigeria. You are busy serving God in vain. You don't know him. I was serving God like that. Naked, coming to church. I was praising God. This is my fine voice, you see. If I sing song, we will do people be falling now anointing. We'll get deceived. That, ah, so God is using me with my tattoo on my body. Half tube, breast is out, short skirt, bleaching my skin. Open here, we run very long. I lash falseness. I'm raising my hand to God. I'm singing. I don't know God. Many of you are doing like this. From church, you call your boyfriend. He's waiting for you outside the church compound. After service, bye bye. Enter tax, enter the jeep or the car, any car the boyfriend brought. You follow him and go. God has finished. Now it's my life. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That is why many of you are saying it doesn't matter. Many of you, your parents have been talking to you. Take away jewelry. Take away makeup. Take away these false things on your body. Stop bleaching. Don't wear short skirts. Don't allow men to lust after you. Boys, don't do your hair like this. Don't tint your hair blue, green. Don't bob the way the worldly people are bobbing. Don't put down your trousers low waist. Don't go to church like this. Don't open your chest. Don't wear all this body fit and body all. Don't be doing like this, young boy. You say, mommy, ah, leave me alone. This is our generation. If I don't dress like this, they'll be laughing at me, think that I don't know what is happening in the world. You thought that that is the way to show the world that you are a big girl, you are a big boy. I pity you. If you die in that act, you will regret your life. You will regret your life. I find it difficult to describe all what I saw in hell. Sometimes I say, God, how will I describe this place called hell? But I will try. The Lord said, what you saw, say there. 
Since I entered hell 2013, and the Lord brought me back, I made a promise to God because I saw it like I was deceived by my pastor. And I had many people crying with the name of pastor. Many people deceived by pastor and they are crying. One of my best friends, the father is a reverend. I saw her in hell, giving me a message to give the father to come back, the father to come to hell. So I noticed that many things that is happening today in the church, the pastors are responsible majority because they are not telling the truth. So I told God, Father, thank you for bringing me out. Now I know you are the only person that loves us, love me like this because my pastor was not there. Nobody was there to save me. It was only Jesus. Anything these pastors are doing that is bad, unless you don't want to show me, I will expose it because I start pitying people going to hell, deceived by this pastor. This sister that testified this morning, she don't want to be, she don't want to come and testify since last year, 20, 2017 December conference. I was sitting under the mango tree. She came to me and said, Mommy, I need prayer. The mother brought her to me. The mother is a holiness member. I said, What happened? He said, She needs deliverance. Deliverance for what? She said, I was committing sin. Which kind of sin? He said, They used to hire us to do fake testimony in the church. I said, What is that? I was sitting with the admin officer wife. We were sitting under the tree, this thing. And then the lady now said, They were hiring them. They would do false testimony. I told her to call the name of the pastor, but she's still afraid. I told her that, Why are you people are afraid of man? Because many youths here, they are the pastor of that, the pastor name that you should supposed to call, they are the members sitting here. And some of them are believing. Some of them, when they see them preaching the testimony in the, in the TV, they will put their hand, let the power of Papa enter me, demonic power. Call their names. So I now interrogated her, I asked her, what are the things? She now started telling me, telling me that they will do this, they will do this, they will do this, they will do this. What are the names of the pastors? Which church? He now started calling John C. Suleiman. He now started calling Lord Choosing. He now started calling Winner Chapel. He now started calling TV Joshua. I said, what? Fine. You will not testify December conference. I will pay your transport. You are coming in youth conference 2018 because this testimony is very good because many youths today all these things, I want to be a pastor. Hey, I admire. Oh, my papa have a jet. This, that, this. That is what you are admiring them. How they are deceiving you. She's, she was afraid. I pursue her. I say, listen to me, sister. It better you say it. Because I know many have been deceived. Not to talk about law choosing. How they arrange a lady to say, me and her, we are from the same marine kingdom. Where is the lady now? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she now? She's dead. Where is she now? I'm telling you, you have to wake up. Youth, don't sell your soul to the devil. Don't allow this pastor to deceive you. Don't allow the worldly things to deceive you. There are many things you are putting on that have condemned you already. I'm going to play you some clip for you to see your mentor. Some of you say, this is my mentor. I love this boy. I love this lady. Oh, I admire this dressing. Oh, this pastor. I, I'm going to this church. My mama, my papa. I want to tell you. You will regret. All of you that are sitting here, you are putting your ring on your hair. After hearing me, you put this ring on your hair. Carry it home. Continue wearing it. Your own punishment will be greater. Because woe unto you to know what to do and fail to do it. Because you have known you're supposed to do it. Remove it. You leave it there and die. You go and stand before God. God will say, what is the hearing still doing on your hair? What will he tell God? I didn't believe. He will say, go and believe now in hell. Go to hell, stubborn child. I told you, my wrath is coming upon you people. There's a boy. We went to Takum, Bika, one village in the in the Kutep side, in Taraba State. We preached there. He's a cultist boy. We preached. He had my testimony. He gave his life to Christ. I talked with him. I encouraged him. I was following him up. And by the grace of God, he continued going to the chapter meeting. He came here last year for the youth conference. I told him, come and confess. Come and testify. Let other youth know. Because he was in gang. Traveled to Indian in the spirit. Killing people. Doing this ritualist for big men. Cutting people. Cutting head. Sell it to big people. He have the money. 
Ha, I see you need to come and testify. But when I saw him last year, he was dodging me. Mommy, I will do. Mommy, I will do. I said, please, don't go back to this scene. Just a few months ago, when we were in Talabada State, the younger sister came to me and she was crying and said, the boy has died. And I said, what happened? He now told me, Gracious is dead. I said, what happened? Because they used to call him like Sister Linda's son. I trained him. The villagers, people know him to be a wayward boy, a cultist. He was not even there. He was in Lagos. The night he came to, he said he came to cut off the father's head. He was lying in the bush. But he had me in the crusade in one field, closer to some bush. So when he had my picture, he now came out. That is the time the people in the village know that, ah, gracious have come. He was hiding because people know him. But he gave his life to Christ after the, revel after the revelation. And he decided to follow Christ. He started going very well. He came here. I used to call him. Keep it up. Don't go to the wall. He said, Mommy, it's not easy. My hand is dry. I said, Don't worry. These are all the temptations. Because you have used to play with money, killing people, cutting head, cutting side. Do this. And rob it. Shoot it. They will give you money. But this one, don't worry. God will help you. God wants to test you. Don't mind the hardship. I spoke to him. When he returned back after the youth conference, it's like the devil increased the, the temptation. So one of his friends, two of his friends, or whatever, as the sister was saying, came to him and said, because he know how to do oppression. So the boys now said, okay, just follow us for this one time. Just this one time. You will not go with us again. And now follow them. When they follow them, when he follow them, they now caught them. The two runaways was holding him, they caught. That is the work of the devil. The devil entered the people in the, in the, in the village. He was pleading, I will not do it again. And the sister told me that it was even the uncle that carried the first stone and hit him. They beat him till he died. Now, as I'm talking to you, Gracious is in hell, crying with the name of Sister Linda. Oh, I don't know. Sister Linda warned me. This is why I am talking to you. If you leave this place and go back to your sin, Allowing those rich people, those big allergy or whatever, giving you money, go and cut her for 10,000 hours, 30,000 hours, 20,000 hours. See over the Facebook, young pretty girls sleeping with boys after making love, drugs them, and then they cut off their head. Every day in the news, you will see a boy killing our own sister, a sister killing her mother. Everything mixed up because Satan wants to finish Nigeria. The youth want them to go to hell very fast. Jesus is coming very soon. Satan has seen the sign. He's hurrying up. He wants plenty of people. He wants plenty of people. All these people that are doing this, hellfire if they don't repent. And you are here. You are sitting on your sin. You are a prostitute. You are dating somebody husband. As you are here now, the man is spending money on you than the wife. You are laughing. You think you are pretty. I'm sexy. This man is a coloman. See, he's following me up and down. Yeah. You don't even know. Satan is laughing at you. You are pretty. You will pay for putting us under. You are challenging God's word. You are a drugs addict. You are even telling your friends, come and take, you are doing like mama child, a baby boy. Come, you are in the university. Come and smoke, draw one. You are initiating there. You are the one Satan is using to spread sin. You regret. You are a cultist. You have tattoo on your body. Your hair is like mattress. Going up and down. Say you are going to church. Say you are singing. You disobey your father. I heard that a child fought the mother in the camp. Was it the first day or the second day? And tear the mother cloth. I said, why did they not show me that child? Let me just start crying with her now. Because it's like a dead corpse walking. You are fighting your mother. Fighting your parents. You don't even know what you are doing. You don't even know what you are doing. Because they have spoiled you. They have shown you too much love. You now start disrespecting them. The Bible says honor your parents. Any word of God that you jump, you do not do, you will face God. You will face God. This hellfire is real. Isaiah chapter 66. To tell you what is happening in hell. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 24. What the Lord did to me, the Lord took me to go and see. I don't know, I, I was surprised. Verse 24. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcass of the men that have transgressed against me. For their worm shall not die. 
the worm, the maggot that will be coming out of your body when you will die and go to hell. You will be rotting in the fire. The maggot that is coming out of your body, you and the maggot inside the fire, you are not, the fire is not killing the worm. The worm is not dying. Neither you, you are dying. The worm is continuous eating you. Just imagine, when the worm bites you, it's like a dog bites you. Just imagine, just one dog bites you. You will shout, this one, how many maggots all over your body, in your eyes, in your head, in your anus, every part of your body, you can't remove them. They are sticking on your body like super glue. They are busy eating, feasting on your body. You will regret their worms shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched. The fire that it will be burning you, burning you. No water, no body can quench it. To say, bring water, pour it on me. Who bring water? Where is the road to go and bring water? You will burn, 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 burn. You look yourself, you will be seeing skull, but you are still alive. You will fear God. Since you don't want to fear God now when you are alive, you will fear him in hell. That is it. God is sitting down peacefully. He said it is a fearful thing to fall in the hand of God. Since man no fear me, they will come and meet me here. And they shall be an hurry unto all flesh. Fearful thing to all flesh. That is why our father the Lord today was saying, it's like time will be in the heaven. God will carry us to go and see hell or he will be making a screen anyhow he wants to do for we to see hell so that it will be a fearful thing to us that nobody in heaven will think of disobeying God. Nobody. It is a fearful thing. Revelation chapter 14 verse 9 to 11. Revelation chapter 14 verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the small shall drink, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of the atonement, verse 11, ascended up forever and ever. And they have no rest, day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Some of you say, I have not received the mark of the beast. The spirit of Satan is you. Lying, fornication, murder, gossip, adultery evil thought smoking occultism these are all the identification of satan you are a child of the devil turn to first john chapter 3 for me to tell you that if you are like that you are you are not of god first john chapter 3 from verse 5 and ye know that he was manifested to take away our sin. You, you know that the purpose why Jesus came and died is to take away our sin. How many of you don't know that? Let me see your hand up. You don't know that when Jesus died to take away our sin. How many of you know that Jesus died to take away our sin? Let me see your hand up. So there will be no excuse why you are still in your sin. There is no excuse. Because he died to take away your sin. And why are you still in your sin? So you are on your own. You are not with Jesus. And in him is no sin. Inside Jesus, there is no sin. Those that follow him, they have rejected their sin long ago. They have accepted him as Lord and Savior. They are not in iniquity anymore. They are not a true child of God. All things are passed away. But you, you are still in your old vomit. You come and give your life. How many times you are coming up as they are calling you, you are giving your life to Christ. But you will still go and be sitting outside here. You are still stealing in the camp. You are still, some of you, your parents give you registration money. You did not register. You are busy eating with Akara. You will vomit it in hell. Verse 6. Whosoever abides in him sinneth not. If you believe in God, you abide in God, you are inside God, you will not sin. So you that you are doing secret sin, you are hiding, don't deceive yourself. The Bible have judged you. You are just be deceived by your pastor. The pastor is like you. He too is using his own wisdom to comfort himself because you know that hell is waiting for you. My praise the Lord. Nobody will go to hell. It is by grace we will go to heaven. He will see him just now with, he, 
with his cap, everything will be born in hell. Sin it not. Whosoever sin it, have not seen him, neither know him. Neither know him. You only know the name of Jesus, you don't know Jesus. You only know the name of Jesus, you don't know Jesus. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that committed sin is of the devil. You see? That is what Revelation chapter 14 is telling us. Those that carry his mark, those that worship him, you are worshiping Satan, you don't know. Any attitude of the devil in you, you are a candidate of Satan. And as you continue doing it, practicing fornication, uh, abortion, lying, initiating other children, hey, let's go to a nightclub, come to my house, I have party. You are the one initiating it. You are worshiping Satan unknown to you. You don't know. For the devil seen it from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. For his sin remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. If you are truly a born again Christian, now if I ask how many of you are born again, all of you raise that up. But you are still taking cigarettes, you are still selling drugs, you are still doing 419 business. Your mother will leave you in the shop, you will sell something, 1000 and when you come, you give her 500, you keep the chain, and you will busy be dancing in the church. Jesus, I love you. You are just, he's just looking at you. Hellfire. Hell. Stubborn child, your parents will talk to you. You will reply them back. Your father will talk. You are ready to set blow. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. Verse 10, he said, In this, the children of God are manifest. This is the characteristic of children of God. Those that don't commit sin, you don't see them in all this fornication. You, in the school, some of them, you see them dressed very holy. You are laughing at them. Holy, holy, see her, Sister Linda, because now it's how they're calling some people now. In Liberia, anybody that wears long skirt, they say, Sister Linda. I say, oh God, thank you, Jesus, for this name. That's is how you are laughing at them. You see them sitting and quiet, tie their head. You see them now in the school. You say, oh, mommy, be big scared. Some of you are your age mate. You are laughing at them. You sitting there, say, see them. See how they dress it. Come and see us in our church. If we give it to you, we will see, we'll put on suits. See my straight scare. This one, I can never join them. You are just, you are the one that you are rotting, you don't even know. Of the devil. Whosoever does not righteousness is not of God. Neither he has loved not his brother. The Lord have told you. Turn to the same First John chapter 2. From verse 15. Then I will start showing different pictures and movies. For you to know. If you are in this attitude, if you are in this lifestyle, if you are doing it in your school, or your friends are doing it, and you used to sit there and be laughing with them, GC with them, or this musician I'm going to show you, or this kind of pastors I'm going to show you, you love them, you admire them, you play their music, you are dancing, you are lying and listening to their music from morning to night. But when they say message, see how many youths came out. See how many youths. You are not listening to messages. And you want to go to heaven. Listen what the Bible says. First John chapter 2 verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. All this thing that you love, bleaching. Some of you call yourself a holiness member. You have started bleaching. We know you to be a black girl, a black boy. Now you have bleached. You have backslidden, but you don't even know. You are still laughing. The loss of the eyes. Everything you see. Oh, this chain is beautiful. Ah, I like the way this woman makes up. Ah, I like eyelash. You go and put it. Ah, my face is looking. Everything you see is sinful thing you want to put on your body. My sister. Verse 17 says, and the world passes away and the lost thereof. All these things that make you not to believe in God, make you not to obey God, make you not to submit with God. All these trousers that women are wearing, all this naked dressing, all this short skirt. You will be telling yourself, ah, if I wear a big skirt, nobody will see me again attractive. All these things, the pride of life will pass away. Only those that abide in the way of God, holiness. That will abide forever. That will live forever. 
So what I'm going to show you, you will see for yourself. And start judging yourself as you are there. And what you should do is to get ready to repent. Hallelujah. Watch it very well. It is not time to laugh or to clap or to this. Check your life. Check it. Check it very well. I've read for you. Love not the world. If you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you. You are deceiving yourself. You call yourself Christian. You are not a Christian. Jesus don't know you. I pity, I cry. All the killing that is going on in Nigeria, Christian and I, some of these people, you'll be saying, they will go to heaven because they kill them for Jesus. Who told you? Who told you? Because they kill them for Jesus. Some of them renounce Jesus. Fear. Some of them, they were not born again. They dance a drunkard, but they call themselves Christian. No heaven. You think God is a man. He will never compromise his standard for any man. Yes, please, media, start showing the clip for me. Desire for fame and riches, worldly musician, all these things. These are the desire that you people desire. I want to be famous. I want to be rich. You see different cars. This car belongs to one of the youngest millionaire in the world. See him standing there. Don't be fasting it, please. Pause it. You see him standing. All that Range Rover. How they call it? Fasari or Rasari. I don't know how they call it. Uh -huh. The latest car. You see, speedboat, Range Rover. As he's like this, it was 30 something years. Very rich, but he's the, he's the gang of drugs. You see him. See, the gold that is in, on, his, on his neck can be the whole village as the rating. See him. Pause it there. You see him. See the gold. Cover his finger. Filthy rich, but his drugs money. And youth, I want to go to America. I want to go to London. They will come to you. You will be pushing drugs. I want to be rich. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to buy. When you see these big men pass with Range Rover, I say, ah, your mind is not how to make it. It's how to finish school, to enter bank and steal, or to enter politics and steal, or do other things. Your mind, as youthful state that it has been polluted because of Range Rover, because of jets. Because of this, me too, tomorrow I will drive jet. How, are you, how do you want to drive the jet? How do you want to get the money to drive the jet? If you are start thinking evil thoughts. See him now. He become famous. Rich. Everything he has. The, the world know him. The richest young billionaire. But the gang in drugs addict. Put him again. And see how God have molested he has died. Pause it. He has died. You see, they put the chain, carry everything. He has died. All the jeep, all the billions, all the this, the millions. He have left it. He's in hell now. See the dreadlocks on his head. Just as you are looking at it, just condemn him now. Don't be crying for him. He's regretting why he was born. Why he desire money more than God. Why he did not follow Jesus? Why he did not decide to be poor and serve God or be rich in the way of God? He's regretting why he followed bad friends. Why he said, I must be rich. He's regretting because the car, the dwelling, the drugs, the womanizing business, they are torturing him in hell now. Nobody is there to save him. He's suffering for in vain. And maybe that is another person that is using the car now. Another person will come and marry the wife, enjoy the money. He is suffering in hell now. See, every human being will die one day. Be you rich, be you poor, whosoever, you will die one day. President, senator, governor, archbishop, pope, you will die one day. Youths, young adults, women, men, children, you will die one day. And that is the fearful thing of every man. Where will you spend eternity? You are going to see the God that nobody asks him question. Next. He has died. Worldly music and musician, your fame. 
David O. They know him. See how they are shouting. Is the music you are busy? Ho, ho, ho. Whose one is this? Dan David O again, eh? You see him? He they smile to you to carry you go hell. You are admiring them. Some of you, you tattoo the kind way you tattoo now. How he did his hair. How he do the chain. Some of you dress like him now. I want to be like David O. He's not like Jesus again. I pity you, youth. Play it and see. This is the kind of dance you are. You, see him? Yes. Like somebody that is mad. See. This is how you are dancing in the church. See the trousers he's putting on. And this is how some of you dress, even come here. You are, da you are dancing, jumping in the church. Some of you play guitar, you jump. You do like this. And you know why, where you copy that style from. It's from the video. It's from Bob Marley. It's from this. You come and practice in the church. Shake your head. Because some of you have taken your bow. Play the next one. Watch it very well. Don't need to laugh. Check your life. Pity yourself. Oh. Pity yourself. Pity yourself. See them. Tie rope on his head. Pity yourself. Michael Jackson. Pause it there. How many people cry? They will be tearing their clothes. I was part of them those days. When I heard that Michael Jackson died, I cried as if it's my mother that died. He don't know me, I don't know him. But I was crying in my poor country. You can see idleness. Some of you in Nigeria was crying. Michael, he don't know you. He don't know you. But these are the people. Put it, let me talk about him. If you read about him, you pity him. Before I put, before I put him on this screen, I downloaded it. I read about him. So that we're able to explain a little bit about you. This man did not enjoy his money. They deceived him. He was brainwashed. It was Satan just useless him. If you read about his biography, grow hatred for his father, and even when he become rich, all his mind is of being, I like being like a child, I like being like a child. You will know that what is even this person is doing is do with his money. When he died, they start selling his, his, his property in his house. The house that he even dying, he was renting it. He, they were selling his property, auction it, and now say, see. All the things he acquired want to be famous, want to be famous. See how they are, those that want to buy his bed, want to buy his dressing mirror, they were cheaping it, selling it. And now the money, the brothers or whosoever, they are enjoying it. He is in hell. Satan gave him fame and then kill him. At the end, he wants to repent. He was confessing in the sense of confessing this, this person is evil. This person that loved me in the music world is satanic. But when he was talking, people are still clapping. They don't understand what he was saying. Now he has died. A brother that had an encounter went to hell and saw him. He's dancing restlessly, no, stone, no stopping. On tongues, sharp objects. As he's jumping, the thing is piercing his leg. Tear him, he's crying, regretting why he became a musician, why he followed Illuminati people, why he decided to be fame, why he went and bleached himself. He was not proud of his nose, of his body. Some of you, you say, maybe why I'm black, that's why men are not coming my way. Maybe it's because I'm black, you are bleaching. I pity you. Change, put another one. These are the people you admire, they are in hell. Nigerian actors, Cha Cha. They're there. T.Y. That's what they call them. Yes. These are the people you people admire. Beyonce is the one moving the world. Mama of which? This is the one moving the world. Rihanna is the one moving the world. You are copying their style. I want to be like Beyonce. I want to dance like Beyonce. Nicki Minaj. I know them all. I was part of all these worldly things. See, I'm calling their name. To tell you that I suffer for these people in hell because I was wasting God's precious time. The time I should pray, the time I should evangelize, the time I should study the Bible, the time I should do God's work. I was busy reading about them, busy watching their movie, busy dancing like that. Follow them in the night, go to a nightclub, dance their music. Imagine that early in the morning, their music is on my, my bed. I would dance, Beyonce, all these things. Celine Dion, you are with boyfriend, you are playing Celine Dion. The love will enter your head more and more. Bang, hellfire. 
These are the people you listen to. You check your phone and no godly message. Even the godly song you have is those godly songs that those musicians that have given themselves to the devil because no song of the godly song they are singing that will take you to the cross. It's all this one. We are the choosing gender. Boom, 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 boom. We are the choosing generation. They will dance. When you are dancing, you think about the nightclub. You will never hear them sing all this hymn. Have you been to someone? So, I better pull Latin for this place. That's how you two talk. If you are playing between them, have you been to Jesus? You say, I beg, leave this thing. Ah, is it buried? Play better song because worldly beating is inside. And even the musician, they call themselves Christian musician. They are all with the devil. You are admiring that I want to be musician. I want to sing for Jesus. But you meet the beating and the dancing that will give you the sound. When people dance in the church, spreading immorality. Because when that small girl will be shaking her bottle, this one will be, the pastor is lost it. And you are the one singing the song for them. All of you will enter hell. Next. This, they are not hiding it again. Before you, you'll be hearing Luminati. Is it true? Is it true? See this one. Luminatic called 666. This is the ID card of people that have joined Luminatic. I can't read it from here, but in, his name is there. He's a Uganda boy. The, the, the ID card will be expiring maybe 20 words. This is the ID card. They are proud of it now that I'm inside Luminatic. Now they advertise it. Some of you, they, they come on to you in Facebook. You want to become rich in 30 days, in 20 days, join Illuminati, join this, join that. You are busy. It's just a call. It's just a, it's just a club. It's just a club. You don't even know. It's just a club. You will sign with your blood. You think Satan is, is sleeping like you. Now you have joined them. Young boy. The thing the, the was 20, 30 or something. He's boasting, putting on Facebook to tell you that I'm a big guy, I'm a numinatic, I'm, I'm rocking up and down with all those musicians. He has sold his soul to the devil. Next, these are the things you admire, you desire. Footballer. World Cup just finished. How many of you were going to church? How many of you were going to chapter meeting? Until the World Cup finished before you start going to church. And you say you love Jesus. But in the church, when they are preaching, we have to be running behind you, come into the hall and say, ah, they preach too much, they preach too much. But you can sit down watching football for morning to night. You will not even want to, your parents will say, go and eat food, you don't even want to know. You don't, you'll be playing game, playing game, playing game. Game that don't have anything, you just keep you idle, playing game. You don't study Bible, you don't read, you don't pray. In the morning, when you finish devotion, you enter your room, playing game, playing game. On WhatsApp, on Facebook, after you finish, playing game, playing game. You check the time you have played game, two hours, three hours, you are still not satisfied because demons have possessed you. I wonder why some parents will see their children busy on phone playing, they will not say anything. You don't love these children, no. And you, you think your parents love you so much, they don't bother. Hey, hey, hey. You don't love yourself. When you die, you don't carry their nose. You carry your own. Footballer. These are the people. They will go and take bow to Satan for fame. To play. And they will die. The money. Satan will give them the riches, the fame. And some of you want to be footballer now. I want to be great. I want to do this. You are thinking. As Satan is here, your desire heart. He's sending somebody to you. Let's go. He's just to join this club. Let's go to this juju priest. They will wash us. They will, take, they will bait us. And they will start playing. We'll become fame. We'll get the money, we'll start running, going this. Satan will tell you to sign with your life. And because you desire the money, you'll say, ah, it's just a simple thing, and let's sign. See the next one. People are sitting under snow, like they are inside freezer, watching football. You can never suffer like this. You can small rain like this, people will be running out of crusade ground. Little drizzling of rain, people will be leaving crusade ground. But see how people as eyes have covered them, they are looking for, they are watching football. You can see the love people have for Satan. How they can sacrifice their life. They are feeling serious cold. This is how some of you, under rain, football is when you don't mind to go under that rain. To go, you wet, but you must go to that football ground. But when they say crusade, they say, I ah, see the weather is dark, I will not go, I will go tomorrow. You don't love God. You don't love God. Youth, you have wasted your life. You have wasted your life. Satan have deceived you. Open your eyes. You don't love this God. These are the things you do. When you go, God will tell you, how do you spend your life on earth? Tell me, what did you do for me? All your time, from morning to night, what were you doing? Busy 
insulting people on Facebook, downloading, laughing, disting, all this kind. See this one. Now, Nigerians, other African countries, but Nigerians are the highest in them, are passing through Libya to go to abroad, all in the name of I want to enter abroad because of they believe that if they go to abroad, they will make it, they will be rich. See how they are killing them now, suffering them. Some of you have watched the clip, it's real. See, now they are selling. Now the new thing is that they will come to you, people from abroad or wherever they say foreigner, they will invest on you. They will pay, buy your tickets, make paper for you, will carry you. As we had the story, when they carry you, they will tell you you are going to abroad. It's a lie. It's Libya or any other country they will carry you to, drop you there, kidnap you, carry you for a place where you will not eat. Now they are selling human parts. They will kill you. Since you want to go to abroad, some of them have died in the desert and enter hell straight. They are regretting why they love abroad. They are regretting who advised them to go to abroad in the wrong way. And some of you, you are not planning to go to that same Libya and say, ah, some of my friends, they make it. Not everybody there is not my time. If my time, let me come, let me come. You are sitting and telling go, you will know that you are a strong man. Ah, I will survive. You will die and enter hell. Gambling. You don't pay tight and offer in the church, but you have money to play bet Niger. You have all the money. You know how to gather money to play bet Niger. Other things. Gambling. You don't pay tight. You don't give offering. Say I'm a youth. I don't have money. But you have money to buy the church card to give your girlfriend. You have money to play bet Niger. And which one again? Play it. The next one. See him. You have money. You are playing this. This is what you do. You waste all your money. You lie to your parents. Mommy, my textbook. Mommy, I need money. Daddy, I need this. You play gambling. You, you go and do worldly things. Buy drugs with it. Enjoy your life. Sponsor sinful life. Demonic festival and celebration. December is coming and some of you will go to Calabar or anywhere they will do demonic festival. You can see this is a, it's a, it's, it's a country. I don't know which place. I've forgotten the country name. Church of Satan was launched in that country. They now make the statue of Satan and they are dancing. They rejoicing that they have gotten Church of Satan in their country. You can see the statue. You can see they are drawing demon with horn, with, 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 with feather, looking like, they, like Lucifer. And human beings are dancing, rejoicing that this is their God. And some of you, you will go for carnival. You are dancing behind masquerade. You are enjoying. You are dancing, carnival, naked dressing, all this naked festival dressing. You will be part of their youth. You are going there. Pour your money. You dress like them. Next, let's go. Ungodly exemplary lifestyle to the youth among churches, church leaders. Yes. Ungodly lifestyle. In the church, the lifestyle. You can see these are your these are the pastor's wife dressed like prostitutes. No different with the ones in the nightclub. See how she dressed. Putting bead on her head. Wearing short skirt. The boy is bowing under her, her. And she's praying. Who is praying to who? Who is using who? Satanic. Jezebel in the church. And these are your mama you admire. Some of you all what I'm talking say, my, mo my mama in the church, if you see her, if you she see her hearing and makeup, I want to tell you these are the dressing of the allot. God is not with them. Believe it or not, mark it today. One day all of us will stand before God like this for judgment day. You will say, Sister Linda said it. Play the next one. The next pastor wife. Show it, please. This is a pastor wife. It's looking like celebrity. You see how she's looking. They are the one turning Uganda upside down. The man is filthy rich, carry blood congregation. See how she's dressing. This is pastor wife. That is why, see them. They are renewing their marriage. How many years? See them. See the, see the mama wedding dress. Her breast is out. See how she dress. See her, see her back. See nakedness. You see them. One hand cloth, sleeveless. A pastor wife, see her. 
See the pastor that is calling, see how they dress. Fashion parade. You admire them. See them, they are doing their wedding. See the nakedness. And people are there clapping, mama, see her dress. How many men have lost after her? Youth are lost in after her. See how they are dressing. Nakedness in the church. And these are the church you are wasting your money. You can see the kind of dance, drama. Some of you are in drama department in your church. You don't even know you are sinning against God. See these ones. See them, they are dancing in the church. See. See, people are sitting there clapping for them. They are dancing in the church. You can see. You can see. Drama in the church. They say they are dancing to God. The Holy God. Fearful God. Is this you are dancing to him? And you are part of drama. You are part of drama in your church. You will be dancing. Holy Spirit, God, all of you will do the same thing. You will be clapping, giving them money. If you know what you are in, you will just take your bag and leave that church. Because soon and very soon, the wrath of God is going to be appearing in churches. The sin is too much. See how they are dressing. Put color, say reverend. See her, no cover head. See her face, bleaching. See her, tinting here. See her hair style. And she's praising God. Who is God? This is your mom. See a pastor with tear trousers. You can see a pastor. He's preaching. With pencil trousers. He's busy preaching. I have plenty of congregation. Some of you say, ah, but the man is preaching. You are busy defending them in Facebook. But what is judge not? Judge not. He's preaching well. He's doing signs and wonders. That kind of pastor, you are defending him because he says he's doing signs and wonders. Youths, open your eyes. The pastors have misled you to hell. Many of you are in hell. Many. Many of you are in hell. You don't love or remorse because of this truth we are telling you. You like all those other churches. You will know it tomorrow. You will regret your life. Yes, next, please. Let go up. This is Chibi Joshua. Introducing the fastest way. Since you people can't pray, and you people like signs and wonders, now those days we look at the Muslim counting their waiting. We say, ah, see them. Now they have brought it to the church. He's telling you the fastest way is very safe. As you are counting it, you are praying. You are counting it. As you are counting it, this is how God will bless you. Wait, busy with it. It's, it's a, Loud it, please. It's a, it, it, it's a covenant. So when you are addicted to this, somebody oh can God. depend on this. People will come to you and ask for prayer. People will come to you and ask for prayer because as you are busy doing, you have power. Play. This is Jeremiah, Pastor Jeremiah, that's not to do bad drama. Pause it. Those of you that are here from Delta, raise up your hand. You know him, eh? This is what is happening. Be blowing people. Person will fly. And you are there. Say, my pastor has power. In his leg, he's kicking, doing football. Play it, let us see. You have been deceived. And you are wasting your time. See, 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 see. Can Jesus suffer a man like this? Is that how Jesus was doing signs and wonders? See, 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 see. He's dancing the demonic dance now. Yes, that is it. See this one, you think at work in RNG? You can see. And some of you go there from morning till evening. From morning till evening, no word of God. It's this drama. This one will do like this. And you say, ah, today the service was good. Because you went and watched live drama. See. Pray 
Praise the Lord. Where are you shouting? Some of you, you leave your house, you are okay. You go to church and come with pain. Your eyes is swelling up. Your hand have broken because they do. Whoosh. You fly and fall that you don't know yourself. You say it's a miracle. This is the deception. That power is not from God. God is not a wicked God. He's a gentle spirit. When he's delivering his children, you don't make them to fall, fly, start breaking chair. It's not. All the Bible, all the scripture you have read, how Jesus is healing people, he will lead them gently, lay hands gently, speak a word of peace. Even to the demon, he say, where? Cast me into the swan. It's okay, go there. Gentle God. Is he a rough God? This is Satan. Is Satan a rough people like that? And you, you go to that kind of church. From morning to evening, all they do is prophesying. Only one scripture they will read. And pro prophesy, they will be shouting. Do it and youth, you love those kind of church. You love it. You say you have, you have gone to church for Sunday. No fear of God, nothing. Sinful lifestyle of ungodly youth in the church and in the world. I'm just showing you brief of these things. You can see. These are your dresses. Some of you, this is your dressing. You keep them in the house. Don't be forwarding it, please. Pause, go back to that one. Yes, you will see. This is how you dress. When you want to come home, you remove your wivon, pack your trousers and naked dressing in your school, in your campus. Or you say, ah, I'm coming to Holiness Camp Grand. Let me tie my so that they will not think I'm not with them. You keep all your jewelry. Or in the school, these are your friends you work with. You see them? This kind of dressing, we never see God face. They are not children of God. God don't know them. They only know Jesus' name. This naked dressing, how many men are lost in after them? How they are dressing like this, this is how immorality is spreading. Rape, fornication, men see them and call them, give them, let's go and sleep with them. Because their nakedness, their private part, their back, everything is shown. And you admire them, they are your friends. You dress like that, you buy jeans, trousers, tear it, you say, hey, now this is the new fashion. You call yourself a child of God. You will be saying, ah, my mother is the one that is holy, my father, me, I'm not there, I'm not ready, I don't believe. Play the next one. You are not doing your mommy or daddy. You are doing yourself. Because maybe you can die before them very soon. You don't know. See the life. And if you check some of these, are deaconess children, pastor children, prayer warrior children, see their barb on their head. See the lifestyle. See, see pastor that is preaching. See the kind of fear he's putting on his head. You can see. And these are the people you, you copy, you look, boyfriend and girlfriend. See, youth enjoying their youthful age. See, this is how they dress, you admire them. Ha, ah, I like the weave she put on her head. Ha, ah, my friend, which cream you are rubbing? Put blue here, purple, green, see it. You waste money. You can't give God 1,000, but you buy attachments, 15,000, 12,000, some 30, 40, 50. See, see how they dress. You admire them. Ha, ah, I want to do my hair like this. I want to tell you all these attachments are from the marine spirits. Satanic power is on them. See them painting their face. You admire them. These ones, they have gone. If no, they did not repent. Painting your nails. You are not proud of your natural look. You are not proud of your natural look. Piercing your body. The Bible has told us in Leviticus that we should not pierce our body. We should not mark our body. See, Putting it at your hand, all in the name of fashion. Rings. If you hey, my ring is going to be big, very wide in my wedding day. See, chain on your feet. You see this as fashion. See, see how they do. Putting on nails. As some of you, before coming here, you remove them, but when you go back, you go and fix it. You see, you admire them. This is satanic property. I was dressing like this. I love things like this. Jesus, pause it here. See, with your own common eyes, the Bible says, can't nature teach you what is right? These two, whose one you will see that is, you yourself will say is holy, whose one? Put it now, put it back. These two person, any boy that is the worldly boy that wants to toast anyone, which one he will approach? Why they will not go to the world with scared? They will be laughing at her. He said, Grandmother, holy, holy. This is why Jesus said to me, There must be difference between the child of the world 
and a child of God. Please put it back. Just put it. There must be difference between the child of the world and the child of God. This movement, Holiness Bible Movement, is trying very hard for the government to make children to wear skirt at their choice. It's not composite that you should wear trousers. But when we are trying, Christian that we call ourselves Christian, they are not agreeing. And you, the youth, you are the one saying that, no, we don't want skirt, we like trousers. But I want to tell you, the Muslims that don't have the true God, they believe that this is the way to heaven. They will suffer for Allah under rain, under so, and they can fight for their religion. You like it or not, who, who dare you say they will not hijab? The government give them free, they will hijab. They are going to, to NYC with hijab. But you Christian, you will not stand for your right. You are making Jesus to cry. You are not proud of Jesus. You are not standing for the truth. You are not telling the, the government. You are not telling the NYC people, say, we will not wear trousers. We are children of God. Christians should not wear trousers. You are the one be telling that we want trousers. We want trousers. And those ones that are few, that are righteous, they are suffering now. Because the one that they call bishop daughter, reverend daughter, she's the one that will say, we will take trousers. Pastors that are in NYC working, call themselves leaders in the church. They are the one who will be saying that, leave them, the children did not say anything. That is their right. Is it the right? And you, you will say, I will just wear it for one year. God understand it. God did not understand nothing. See this one. You know that anytime I can die, anytime Jesus can come, NYC will not take me to hell. Because if Jesus come, I meet these trousers for me and finish. And we have youth in this movement that they did not go. They say we, NYC, we don't care. If they don't allow us, we scare, no problem. I don't mind having no certificate. I prefer making it to heaven than having certificate. And they are here. They did not go for NYC. And God is blessing it. But you, because your faith, you love trousers. He said, you know, if I don't wear trousers, they will not give me a certificate. Some of you, before the certificate, you die. Rapture will come. Even the certificate you have, you don't have work now. Because you disobey God, because of paper, you wear trousers. Play the hijab on, let them see. Who will touch them in NYSC? In camp. Who will touch them? See them. See them. Hijab. You, they, are, they are NYC. They put their hijab. Who dare? See them. See them. When they go, I'm a Muslim as we who who dare them? Because they don't, they are told them in the mosque, you must hijab. Your parents have trained you. They believe. See, NYC to the Muslim, as you see that you know, by their fruit you will know them. But Christian, you don't believe in Jesus. You don't love Jesus. You don't fight for Jesus. You don't stand for the truth. You are just busy here crying, talking. You are not. Jesus is angry. You are not standing for Jesus. You have made the Muslim to know that we will feel even you are making the Muslim to think that God don't have power, Jesus don't have power. Because you fear them. You do this. See. But I want to tell you, you girls, you call yourself Christian, you are putting on NYC trousers. It is a sin. Moreover, that you are heard that trousers is a sin. You are trying God patient. You now say just one year, God understand. God did not understand. And they have recorded it against you for disobeying God willfully. And you went and wear that trousers. And you call, Father, forgive me. Because you have used to, God is a merciful God. Father, forgive me. You will see when you go there. You will see. Next, these are the people praise and worship in the church. See, he's singing. And people are praising God. You see short skirts. And this is how they dress. Some of you dress like this to church. See them, sleeveless. They sing in the church with all their heart, with all their voice, with all their heart. See them sitting in the church. The same cloth to the party. The same cloth to the church. There is no difference. Nobody is warning them. Pastor is not warning them. Nobody is saying anything. The parents are not saying anything. You can't follow me with this dressing. They will just say, let's go to church. You see your daughter with this naked dressing. You see your son putting the trousers down. Do it like this. You don't say anything. And you, the youth, you say, my pastor did not say anything. That doesn't matter. You will see the one that created you. The one that said you should not do it. See the naked dressing. You see. These are the things you admire. Quick, let's go to the next one. You see their nightclub dressing. Now is how they go to the church. See the way they paint their lips. You see, these are the things you see. This is a human being. Attachment. Quickly, let's go. You see, and these are the things you put. See the way they bob their head. You look at this, you say, it's a Christian. Which Christian? See the way they dress. This is a pastor. 
and he's moving the world now, seeing him and the wife. You see how they dress, see the congregation they have, large, see the woman tinting her head, barb, and you say, this is the mama in the church. These are the people you put, and you say, yes, yeah, see the choir, see them. And you go to this kind of church, say, ah, I like this kind of church, see them. Like people that are dancing a willow, they are choir, these are the choir of the church, you see them. See choir, see the choirs in the church. You see, a pastor is looking at her. He say, "We don't lose at who look at this woman. I don't lose after him. Ha! See them. They call themselves choir, and you are part of those kind of choir. You are there. You are singing. You are dancing. Split. You are going up and down. Men are looking at your lap, wearing short hair, see naked dress. All their shape is out, dwelling all over their body. You say, ah, see naked dressing. See, this is Jamaica. I took this picture. This is how they dress in Jamaica. See this one." You can see. See. I just want you to see. These are the things you look. New styles are coming up. See nakedness. See them. Quickly, let's go. See how they dress. Showing themselves in Facebook. See. And people look at them. Oh, see nails. See here. Yeah. Everything. This is the fashion in the world today. You go to a studio, you snap, you put. Now, this person that we are saying about her, she slept with one, four, one, nine man or whatever, looking for money, fine girl. The day she slept with the man, all of a sudden, I think the man used her for sacrifice. See her. She was bleeding to youth on the Facebook. Don't, don't follow fashion boys. Please, these are fine girl. Begin doing fornication. God has warned her. She did not listen. See her now in a dead state. And what is the benefit now? See her now. See her now. Quickly, let's go. See. These are all fashion. You will start seeing people doing. Piercing their body. Hearing all over. Women wearing trousers. Men are wearing gown now. Women are wearing trousers. See, homosexual, they are parading. We want our right. And they have given them their right. You see, man and man getting wet. Women, see, lesbian. Man married in dog. Getting wet to dog. You can see. Jesus is coming very soon. See, man and man, they have cake. Come and see what will happen. They are cutting their cake. And people are there celebrating with them. You man be go and celebrate with. See the priest that wedded them. See, he called himself man of God. Endorsing man and man. See, they even have bridesmaid. Man and man. I am telling you, we are more than Solomon and Gomorrah. Jesus will appear very soon. This one was a famous homosexual, a, a non famous homosexual, and he was very great, making money. Now he has cancer of the anus. See him now, like stick. Where is the money now? What is it now? He has died and go to hell. All the fame disappear. See this man. Asking this, his fellow man that will you marry me? You can see what is happening in the world. Youth, because of money. How many of you are homosexual here? Lesbian. This is the way you have money now. See the naked dress. You call yourself Christian. These are the wedding gown you wear. See them. See the naked dresses. See all the breasts out. See dressing. See lesbian. They are giving a certificate to wear. Woman and woman. See them. See how they dress. See the naked dressing, the wedding dressing in the church. And you are coming before the holy God. A holy God. A holy God with nakedness like this in the church. And those satanic pastors will lay hands on you and say you have been, you are husband and wife. See naked dressing. I am telling you youth. You copy this style, you follow them, you have doom. You are finished. You think we are playing. You think God is, is a man like you that play? It's your pastor that play. See all these trousers, splits. You go to the office, you wear split. Men sleep at sleep with you. You be you think that you are you are a sexy guy. Every man will toast you. It's because of your nakedness. See all this kind of dressing, and you want God to give you a holy man, a man that will love you, cherish you. After how many men have slept with you, you are going up and down, spreading yourself up and down. If you don't repent of that life, if you don't stop. Fast forward is very clear, quick. See all what they are doing. See, this is how they dress, walk in the street now, smoking. Some of you smoke in the school. When you come to the house, you pretend like a holy girl. See, youth, peer, peer group. See them. Nightclub party, they smoke. Enjoy themselves. Their parents will call in there. My daughter is in the school, my son. They don't know that they are, they are, they are smoke. See, see, see. This is what you people do. Secretly, God is seeing you drinking, enjoying your life. He says enjoyment. See how this girl, 
pumping the smoke out of his nose, enjoying our life. See there, they are taking pictures, showing that we are smoking here. Yeah. They think it's a great life. They don't know Satan have deceived them. You are like them. You are with them. You used to go with them, piercing their body, hearing all over. You look at them. See them. See them. See them. Is this the life you want to live? Is this the enjoyment? What is this? What is this? Is this the kind of life you want to live? You are not even, you will not have respect in the society. See the kind of life. And you ask all of them, they will tell you they are Christian. See them. They are walking naked. See. See them. They say they are going to church. They are Christian. Man is turning himself to a woman. Everything Satan is destroying. You, you are bleaching. You are like a rose step planting before God. See you. This is the fashion. Quickly, forward it. Quickly. Quickly, quickly. Next. Next. The end of every man. Show them the person in the coffin. That is the end of every man. And that is going to be your end. But where will you spend eternity? Let me show you all your greatness, your bleaching, your, your wealth. I'm rich. I'm a rich girl. I'm a rich boy. My parents are this. I've traveled. I'm looking good. I'm sexy. I'm that. See, when you die, you will look at your body and go, see you inside the coffin if you die. This is all the richness, the riches, the bleaching, the fine face, the this, the big boy. You will look like that skeleton there. And then... Show them hellfire. That is your ending if you die as a sinner. That is the ending of your life. Play life cry for them. That is the ending. That is the ending. All those that put makeup, eyelash, have unforgiveness, fornication. See, hell is real. You will cry. Your cry will not end. Your cry will not end. I cry. Jesus help me. Nobody heard me. You will see. This man is in the hospital. Fighting with his life. Death has come. Doctor cannot save you. Money cannot save you. Your parents cannot save you. Nothing can save you. When the Lord says it's your time to die. Even if you want to travel to any country, no doctor can save you. If your time are free to die, no prayer can stop it. See! Only God that can stop that. But when he says it's finished, it's finished. It is finished, you have died. Fighting in the church. Fighting, fighting with his life in the hospital. Bye-bye. He has finished. He has left this world. The soul is coming out of his body now. You can see, this is what we happen to every soul. His soul has come out of his body. He will turn and look his body. And you will see vanity. And say, so this is my life. Oh. So this is me. Wow. They have carried him. You have left this world. This pleasure that you want in this world. You have entered into hellfire. He's looking up and down. Where am I? I was looking like that. Where am I? What is happening to me? I never knew. That was my last my soul I was seeing in hell. I was looking, seeing fire. I cried. I don't want to belong here. Jesus save me. Oh, where am I? Nobody know where I was. They were only seeing my body. My younger sister was praying. God help us. Jesus sent her back. Papa have mercy on her. Finda was crying. Finda was praying. When you die as a sinner, your parents will be crying. Pastor, please pray for my daughter. Pray for my son. You have gone. You are in the midst of those demons you are in the midst of sinner you are in the midst of where torture you will cry you will cry your parents will be crying here you think you will come back the lord will deal with you for stubbornness you can see how the demons are they have cut off the head let me tell you no matter how they torture you in hell cut off your head cut off your hand you will never die there is no death there don't think of death never you will never die this one, they are worse than Boko Haram. They are worse than Fulani The demon are trained to torture human beings. They will torture you. 
Nobody will save you. You will cry. You can see them fighting in the fire. They want to come out. Oh, Jesus, save me. I will never sin again. I will never lie again. Jesus, save me. See, his body has changed. He's rotting now. The devil has tortured him. The acid all over his body. The fire is burning him. He wants to escape. There is no way. Animals are feasting on their body. Worm is feasting on their body. Snake is passing through their vagina. Those ones that are fornicators that die doing fornication, boyfriend and girlfriend, you can see liquid fire. Those that are drinking alcohol, you can see how they are punishing them. I told you, I told you, it happened to me. Where are you running to? There is no way out. Everywhere is dark. You can see a big stone is going to grind him now. A big stone is going to fall on him and he will not die. He will never die. He will just be crying there, feeling the pain. He will call Jesus. Jesus will not show up. The Lord, you will cry. You will bite your finger. You will say, why I did not listen? Why I did not listen? As I'm talking to you, my mother is there. Since 2001, she died. She has never drunk water. I saw my mother alive. My mother said, don't leave me here, my daughter. I beg you, please, take me out of this place. You will cry. Nobody will save you. I am telling you, your fornication, your lying call, all this secrecy, all this thing you are doing. You think you are a big boy. You think you are a big girl. You think you are a rich girl. I am telling you, the Lord will molest you. The Lord will bring you down. Your money cannot save you. Your father cannot save you. Your mother cannot save you. Your pastor cannot save you. Only Jesus can save you. And if you don't obey him now, you are finished. You are finished. If you don't follow Jesus in holiness and righteousness, you are finished. Satan, you that you are a witch, you are a wizard, Satan will not save you. You will not even see him there because he cannot stand before the king of kings. Examine your life. If the Lord call you today, are you going to heaven? Masturbation, fornication, smoking, lying, murderer, kidnappers, killing, carnival. These are your sinful things you do. They hire you to kidnap somebody. If they kidnap you, will you be happy? Why are you kidnapping somebody? Why are you killing somebody for money? Sinful dance. You see how the worm has eaten up this woman. They will eat all your flesh. You will become like a skull. See, for we've won. They will open up your skull. They will design this head. You that love your head more than your, more than your Christian life. I cannot do without attachment. I cannot do without makeup. This is how they will finish you in hell. You will suffer it. You will suffer it. You will be naked. You will be naked. All these things, they will throw you into the fire. You will cry. These are the department for homosexual. They will put hot iron in their anus. See them how they are crying. Hot iron with fire. Inserting it in their anus coming out of their mouth the devil will be laughing at them since you like your fellow man to be sexy you from behind why are you crying homosexual lesbian department adultery department snake is passing through their vagina coming through their mouth everybody's naked in hell everybody's naked in hell people are crying regretting their life regretting their life they are regretting they are regretting see how they are cooking human being see the devil pounding human being like like fufu and they will never die they will smash see them they will be pounding them they will break all their body will be torn to pieces that is one of the wonders i imagine i say god how do you do it somebody will never die they will cut off somebody else tear the person into two how you will get hold again you will not know the power of god you are here you are challenging god you are not afraid of god he's telling you and you are there you are hiding you are covering your sin you are carrying hearing you love hearing more than your soul i pity you you think i don't have money to buy hearing i am telling you it is a fearful thing to fall in the hand of god dwelling is a sin attachment is a sin trousers for women is a sin naked dressing is a sin short skirt lusting occultism fighting disobedience worldly song you are playing it listening to it you are buying it naked dressing bringing the spirit of idol immorality lusting stealing lesbian all these juju priests you go and do sacrifice
make yourself with blood for power. They were telling me there are some boys they caught here. They have juju ring in their finger. This one is for disappearing. This one is for them not to catch me. This one, you are boasting with all the charm you are carrying. You will regret why you go and collect charm. You will regret your life. Occultism, tattoo, putting tattoo on your body. You will regret drugs addict. You are a drugs addict. Bad word. Your mouth. Those ones that like watching horror movie. Those ones that act horror movie. Those ones that be acting wicked film. The devil is tearing them. This is the two. This is the sword. It's piercing them into two. Piercing them into two. The man is crying. Oh Lord, have mercy on us. Oh Lord, have mercy on us. He can be a president now. Maybe this one is a president. He can be a governor now. Regretting his life. Why I did not serve Jesus in the way of holiness? Why I be a politician not in the way of God? Hey! Your money will not save you. Your youthful strength will not save you. Nothing will save you. Your best friend will not save you. Your girlfriend will not save you. Your pastor will not save you. Your parents will not save you. I am telling you, the Bible say, Jesus say, if you are ashamed of me today, I will be ashamed of you before my father. Some of you are afraid of preaching the gospel. You renounce Christ because of fear of the Muslim. You don't love Jesus. You are a Muslim. I pity you. You have lost. You are out of the way. You will be born regretting why you don't believe in Jesus. These are those that are fornicators. They will torture your, your, your private parts with a sharp object. They will scatter your private parts. All this, these are lesbian department. They are tearing their breasts, cutting their vagina, cutting their body. Devil is torturing them. You can see how they have cut her breasts, cut her private part. They are busy slicing the lesbian department. They are regretting why they love their fellow woman. You are there in your school. You are kissing your friend. You can see the Lord is warning you. 419, gambling, prostitution. You are dating that married man that married woman for money today you repent and stop that evil sin you are bleaching your skin you are putting on attachment makeup you are tinting your hair putting on jewelry i am telling you you are taking bribe you are walking you are taking bribe youth you are finished you are finished Head out of the word of god you don't like the truth some of you have been talking that you are outside say leave me alone i don't like it it's a lie I'm telling you, you will regret. You will be looking for opportunity to hear and to repent. But there will be no way. See him now. He's looking for opportunity. He wants to run. Nowhere. You can't run. You can't run. You can't run. Lovers of money, they are using you now. Big men, women, they are using you. Go and kill somebody. Bring the head. You become rich. Lovers of money. You are doing pickpocket in the school, drugs addict, lusting, witchcraft, evil thoughts, masturbation. You are dressing naked, tattooing your body, plant, plant your hair. You are a man, you are plating your hair. It is a sin. You are a woman, you are barbing your hair like a man. It is a sin. You are ashamed to do evangelism. You don't carry Bible. Some of you don't even have Bible. You will regret it. The God you don't love today. You are not proud of him. You can't work for him. He will be the only one to save you tomorrow. I am telling you, these are department of liars. They are slicing their tongue for liars. Department of drunkards. They are liars. You can see. Depart from me. This is how they will enter hell. This is how they will enter hell. This is how they will enter hell. Satan. This is the devil. You are busy following him. The fire will swallow you up. The fire will swallow you up like you are drowning. You will cry. Nobody will hear you. You will cry. Nobody will hear you. There is no mother there. On the judgment day, I am telling you, I am telling you, it's not that I had it. I was part of it. I was in hell. 2013. The Lord took me there. Six hours. Six hours. I suffer. I cry. I look up. Jesus, save me. Nobody to save me. I cry. I say, God, now I know myself. I will never do it again. The demon said to me, you disobedient child. The Lord was warning you. You did 
over here. He said that righteous man was warning you. You disobey him. We will torture you here. I'm telling you, you will regret your life. You will regret your life. I'm telling you. I am telling you. My brother, my sister, I love you. I am telling you the truth. Don't listen to these pastors. Many of them are called these pastors. They will say, Sister Lina is lying. But I know I am not lying. I am saying the truth. Jesus is being you. No. There are many youth crying in here. There are many youth crying in here. They have been deceived. They have been deceived. Pastors are deceiving them. Your friends are deceiving you. Run for your life. Come out among them. I am begging you. You don't know the time you will die. I am begging you. I'm begging you, please. I'm begging you, please. I beg you, my brothers. I beg you, my sisters. I beg you. I love you with all my heart. I pity you when I see a youth. I pity you. I beg you. Believe me. I'm telling you. Jesus, I want you to go to hell. Please. Please. I beg you. I don't know what to say again. But I beg you. I beg. Believe me. I beg you, please. Stop your sin. I beg you. Stop your sin, I beg you. Jesus said, go and beg now, my daughter. Please, stop your sin, I beg you. Please, I beg you. Stop your sin, I beg you, please. Please, I beg you. Come back to Jesus. Don't mind the persecution. Don't mind the trials. Don't mind people laughing at you. But be a holy child of God. Stop your sin, I beg you. Stop your sin, I beg you. Please, I beg you. I'm not lying to you. One day, one day, you will say, Sister Linda said it. You will see it for your own eyes. If you continue in sin, if you continue to hide in your heart, if you continue to put that naked dress in all, if you continue to paint your body, if you continue to dress like an adult, if you continue to do wicked art, I am telling you, that boy is crying with my baby hair. He will be saying, since a little said it, I am begging you. I am begging you, please. I'm begging you, please. Please listen to me, I beg you. In the name of Jesus, I beg you. Don't hide in your heart. Your parents have talked to you. You are thinking that all people, they don't want you to enjoy your life. But I'm begging you. Satan is hiding your life. Maybe you will die in the next two, three years. That's why he's telling you don't believe. Because you want your time to get close so that you will die. Tell the devil today, I don't want to be long. I will come out among them. Please. Please. Beg Jesus. The Lord is here with us. Beg Jesus. You have bleeding for long. You have bleeding for long. You have wounded Jesus. Any sin you committed. Jesus is bleeding fresh. Jesus is crying. You have left him. Come back to Jesus. Hellfire is real. Come back to Jesus. If you are there, you are a sinner. You need the Lord to reconcile with you. You want to reconcile with the Lord. You want the Lord to save you. Please, come in front. Don't waste time. Come in front. Tell the devil, I have decided today. I will not go back to my sin. I will never go back to my sin. Tell the Lord to take away masturbation from you. Tell the Lord to take away evil thoughts from you. Tell the Lord to take away all the sinful life from you. Tell the Lord. Tell the Lord to forgive you. Tell the Lord to forgive you. 
my brother tell the Lord I'm telling you many youth are crying here they have been deceived and this is how they are dying every day going to hell tell the Lord to forgive you tell the Lord to forgive you tell Jesus all the stubbornness you are doing to your parents tell the Lord to forgive you you are fighting your mother you are fighting your father you are fighting your elder sister you are fighting your younger sister tell the Lord to forgive you you are a liar you are a thief you are an robber you still in the school oh Jesus forgive me you are doing abortion sleeping up and down with girls sleeping up and down with boys you are a naked girl you are a prostitute tell the Lord to forgive you I am telling you I am telling you I'm telling you it's better you cry now than you go and cry in hell repent repent hell is real repent my brother repent my sister repent repent hey repent I'm telling you repent I beg you I beg you please I beg you, please repent. Believe it and repent, I beg you. Jesus is seeing you. Your parents will not know what you are doing in a secret. But God is looking at you. You are a deceiver. Repent. You are a rapist. Repent. You are a cultist. Repent. Oh, repent. You are in a social club. Repent. Evil thought, repent. You are a liar, repent. You are bleaching your skin, repent. Repent. You have the spirit of lust, repent. Jealousy, envy, pride, repent. You don't go to hell, repent. You are a witch, confess it. The devil is deceiving you. The devil is deceiving you. Confess your witchcraft. He will not kill you. Jesus have power, mother him. Come and confess it. Repent. You have committed many abortions. You are a murderer. How many abortions? Come and repent. Repent. Your parents are not happy with you. Repent. Go and change. Repent, I beg you. Repent. You busy spending your money in those satanic church. Tell the Lord to show you mercy. To waste your money. Wasting your resources. Supporting satanic pastor. Supporting evil church. Tell the Lord to show you mercy. Tell the Lord to show you mercy. Tell the Lord to show you mercy. You will not waste your resources again. You will not sing in those kind of churches again. You will not be doing sinful acts again in the church. You are going to stop boyfriend and girlfriend business. You are going to stop smoking. You are going to stop clubbing. You will stop going to nightclub. You are going to stop all those night tight dressing, naked dressing. You are going to dress like a child of God. Anybody that sees you will know that you are different. In the school, in the house, in the area, people must know you are a child of God. You are going to change. You will not wear naked bridesmaid clothes. You will not wear a naked bridal dress. You will cover up yourself. You will cover up yourself. You are going to change. Tell the Lord to forgive you. Cry, my sister. Cry, my brother. You that you are sitting there. You are thinking you are right. You are perfect because you are speaking in tongues. You say you are seeing vision. But God is using me. I'm putting on your ring. I'm a sinner. I'm doing this, but God is still using me. Satan is deceiving you. Satan is deceiving you. There is difference between anointing and holiness. The gift that God gives you will not take you to heaven. It's for service. For holiness. Your holy life will be the one to take you to heaven. It's not about by signs and wonders. So you that you are sitting there, you are thinking that you are righteous. You are thinking that you are a deacon in your church. I'm a leader in my church. I'm not a sinner. Check yourself. 
Check yourself. Check yourself. You are ashamed. I'm a pastor daughter. You are ashamed. They are looking at me. You are confessing secretly. Come and confess openly. Come and confess openly. Come and confess openly. That lady you raped. That your sister you slept with. That your brother you slept with. Your auntie slept with you. Your uncle slept with you. Your pastor slept with you. You have defiled the church. The Lord is angry with you. Confess. You are a washer. You are stealing God money. You are a choir. You are sleeping with yourself in the choir. Confess. Confess. Before it is too late. A brother was here last year. Today is not your year's die. You don't know what will happen to you. Rapture is coming at any time. Death is by your side. Nobody know the time you will die. Ask God for mercy. Ask God for mercy. Ask God for mercy. Cry out to God. It better you cry here than you cry in hell. Tell the Lord to show you mercy. Enough is enough. Tell the devil I will not go with you anymore. I will not go again. Jesus save me. 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 Mercy Lord. Mercy Lord. Cry unto the Lord. Cry unto the Lord. Cry. Ask the Lord to change you. Tell the Lord you don't want to be the same again. Oh Lord, change me. to live in sin again oh Lord transform my life I will never be a slave to sin I will never be a slave to Satan again oh Lord change my life I don't want to go to hell Lord, I don't want to go to hell. Lord, I don't want to end up in hell. Oh, Lord, transform my life. Cry unto the Lord. Cry unto the Lord. My father cannot stop me. In Jesus' name. We pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. You can stand on your feet and lift up your hands to God. Lift up your hands in surrender. I surrender. I surrender all to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender. I surrender 
You can repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I come unto thee, Lord. Accept me back, O oh Lord. I have sinned against thee. I have sinned against heaven. I am a wicked person. Oh Lord, have mercy on me. I don't want to perish, Lord. I don't want to go to hell, Lord. Lord Jesus, save me. Have mercy on me. Wash me with your blood. Create in me a clean heart. I renew a right spirit within me. Jesus, I will live for you. Jesus, my life is given unto you. I will give my all to thee. Satan will never have access to my life again. Sin will never rule my life again. Oh Lord, wash me clean. Purify me. Accept me, Lord. Have mercy on me. Lord, write my name in the book of life. Delete my name from the book of your damnation. And write my name in the book of life. I promise, O oh Lord, to serve you to the end. I promise, O oh Lord, to worship you to the end. In the name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name. Lord, I commit everyone here into your hands. As these hands are lifted up in surrender, Lord, we pray, have mercy on everyone here in Jesus' name. Lord, wash everyone here with your blood in Jesus' name. Father, transform everyone standing before you here today in Jesus name Lord renew everyone standing before you today in Jesus name oh Lord we pray let the power of sin be destroyed in their lives in Jesus name Satan will never rule over this life again let the spirit of the Lord take absolute control. This ones, Lord, they shall live for you. They shall live for you. They will never obey Satan again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And all the saints shout, Amen. And all the saints shout, I am for Jesus. I am for Jesus. And all the saints say, I belong, to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. My soul belongs to Jesus. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials.
For other spiritual materials, messages, or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe
came from heaven. You died for my sins. You purchased me with your blood. You are my Lord and my Savior. But for my sins, oh Lord Jesus, you are the living Savior. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you. Because you are my Lord and Savior. You are my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe I believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe in you. I love you, Lord. I love you. I believe. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. You Lord. are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. Oh, you are the living Savior. I believe, I believe, I believe.